generic greetings and welcome back once again to Flotsam Today's Beverages. A lovely cup of tea. So I recently featured Flotsam as a preview and there was a lot of requests to continue on with that save. Now this is not that. This is instead a different save where I have got to the end of the map and then have been brought back to the beginning. And because of that the base, the floating scrap pile is much, much bigger. If we go to the map you can see that we are at the start. We have, I believe now, a total of eight residents, although one of those is after all a um, seagull. And we've just recently rescued people from the Lonely Island which we can see over here and there will be a boat coming back with the new uh, survivors the new drifters in fact yeah you can see them on the on the boat there one at the front and one at the back so what I want to do with this one is basically continue expanding the floating trash pile and explore a little bit further, probably down over here because there seems to be a factory there and I think that would be quite interesting to see. So at the moment we are just going over here to um, look at Shacktown. There's some unknown resources there as well as unknown research. In terms of research we can see that we have unlocked the storage yard, the scrapsmith, the solar still as well as the fishing hut. Let's just have a quick look at our little town. We've got four of these solar stills we've got lots of drying racks dedicated to fish and wood we've got a scrapsmith we've got a good storage in the form of three storage yards plus assorted small storage yards we have a distillery we have a, a small woodworking shed there and we've got a lot of these mooring points on the pontoons here as well as some small houses which are not really houses more beds with a sort of nightstand in a room a clock on it. What we do need to do though is build some more of them because we've just got some more people. So one and then two and then technically three wants me to make even though that the seagull I don't think goes to bed but whatever we'll place those there and uh, we will crack on. We also want to go over to the fishing bit here and we want to set some fishing probably there because we're currently on 19.5 food so not great not terrible and we want to also get some well at the moment we have 39 of the dry wood but none of the wet wood so we want to probably increase the size of that let me just go and increase it to probably that size there and say gather the wood there we also want to get some more plastic because at the moment we've only got 26 now you might think 26 is not too bad but it really isn't because everything in the game that floats requires some wood and since everything floats you're going to use a lot of plastic so yeah you need a lot of plastic in order to do that so I would say number one resource really well food and water naturally but after that you really want to get as much plastic waste as you can and also cleans the sea up but I mean that's the least of our problems really anyway so we're going to go over to probably this uh, extra bit here go to walkway and then expand that across to there that should be quite nice and then we're going to say extra um gathering here and we're going to gather that which is all of the uh all of the plastic in there that ding ding noise means we probably uh, con uh, finish some construction which is the case because we've now made that and oh it does look like the uh the seagull does uh, <laughs> have a little um sleep on there so it looks like stevie is curled up on the small uh, bed there and they've got like a little teddy bear there and they're having a bit of a sleep even though the person next door is absolutely hammering the hell out of that floor that's a neighbor that you just don't want you'd never sell that flat would you anyway uh, let's just have a quick look over here we've got 10 dry wood scavenged so far from shack town and some unknown research i do eventually want to research the plastic recycle because although i've got all this other stuff unlocked including the fishing hut i need plastic nets which i can't make which is a problem let's go to max speed and we'll see how we get on at the moment we have a total of two fishing boats and uh, two scrap boats. I do have a spare fishing boat which is currently stranded here and that's because I deleted one of the mooring points by accident. Um, actually no, I think I was moving it. I don't think I was an accident. No, I think I was uh, purposely moving it and it went all kinds of bad because it just abandons that and I, can't, I just can't find any way of getting it back. But anyway, it's not too much of a problem because essentially the game is endless. You go round and round and get the resources. We should be alright there. So we're currently extending the walkway, the jetty, all the way to the end. We've got the beds put in here and we've got yeah, that pretty much completed. We are gathering some more wood and we're also eventually going to gather some of that plastic. Although I have a feeling that they are prioritising... Uh, they're probably going to be prioritising this first. Yeah, it looks like they are coming over this side. And we've got one working over there and then one working on the uh, shack town as well. Which, as you can see there, are now coming back. 
In terms of our food reserves, it's currently down at 12.5, so that's not great. Uh, it looks like we are going to have to get some more food, but I guess we have got the fishing boat uh, ordered, although it looks like there is... Ah, it's actually being used up now. So we're going to go back over to fishing, and we'll say one can go there. We'll place another one in... Where's the best place for it? It'll be... Where's the next closest? I can't really see it. That's outside of the boundaries. That's outside the boundaries. I think that's pretty much it. Oh, no, there's one over here. There's actually two over here, so that's fine. We'll place that there, and we'll go ahead and do that. In terms of water, we're doing okay. I normally wouldn't recommend these solar stills as a rule, because although they are a passive thing, they are quite large. Uh, physically, they are quite a large thing to build, so you can't get many in before you take up a lot of the room that uh, you might perhaps want to spend in other ways and or occupy in other areas I guess um, and also they only produce one fresh water but saying that that coupled with the uh, distiller and we've got eight people and it's working perfectly fine so yeah maybe it is okay maybe it is all right although I have a feeling, just a gut feeling though, that you should probably end up just going for the desalinator and do it that way and just focusing uh, your, your, your priorities should be on uh, getting as much timber as possible and drying it out but anyway we've got 75 of that so more than enough really what i'm going to do is i'm going to get rid of that i want to remove that we don't want to gather any more wood there we do want to go for the plastic which is uh, you know what needed for everything that floats so uh, we are taking some fish off from there, putting it in storage, putting it on these four drying racks. It is better to cook the fish. You have got a fish kebab as well as the food truck. I think the food truck's probably the best way forward because you import raw seaweed and nibble fish, which I have some some of, and then uh, you get sushi and cooked fish out of that. So that's probably the way forward because you can turn some of the resources you have. Uh, like the raw seaweed into food, whereas at the moment the only thing that you, the only other thing that uses is the fishing hut, so that requires raw seaweed turns it into nibble fish, whereas this one turns nibble fish into cooked fish. So I think yes, it looks like to be the fishing hut and the food truck are the only things that use seaweed. So I guess the advantage with the fishing hut is that it's a passive thing. Uh, well, I think it has to be used, but it doesn't take any resources, it doesn't take any fuel like this does. So that'll give you fish, but then you're still going to have to cook it, which requires firewood. So you may as well just do that one. So I don't really know why you would... I guess the fishing hut, you do need, at least need some fish, but then you could probably deal with it with the uh, with the boat. I'm not too sure. I'll have to try it out. I haven't done the maths, nor will I, because, quite frankly, we ain't got time for that. Anyway, let's have a quick look here. We've got a total of 20 dry wood, 12 firewood, and canned food, 8 of. So let's have a quick look at that. Are we going to be able to see some of these things? Uh, the cans will probably be loaded here, and yes, there you go. You can see these massive cans with the, uh, the pop top as well. <laughs> Pretty cool. Right, so... Um, what else do we need? What else do we need? Well, the food's going up. We're still going on there. I don't really need to do much else other than just finish that one off. Yeah, the road map's interesting now that it's uh, out. Yeah, I've, I've got a, a day-night cycle planned, weather, uh, better traversal and uh, reports and things like that. As always, you can check the link out. That's been scavenged, and I think that is time for us to move on. Let's go over to the map, and I will say move to this water point. You can see we have to follow this one there, and because of the wind direction, we can travel there for free. We then need oil to go up and down here, so there will be, this, at this place here, oil. So we're going to scavenge that oil. We are not going to scavenge the water, but we will scavenge uh, that thing over there. So abandoned shack. Let's just see how many research points I've got. I've got 12 research points, so sadly not enough to do what I need to. Let me just uh, go home and reset the camera there. Um, there we go. That is now research. We've got the oil. That is saying that we can scavenge 20 water. We really don't care about 20 water because we have nowhere to nowhere to put it. But I think food are on 41. So I guess we'll, we'll say order some, order some fishing over there. We will order some gathering of plastic. I'm just looking around to see if there's a closer point. Ah, there is a closer point there. So I will increase the size of that to encompass the full lot as well as some fishing as well. I mean, to be fair, you can probably just fish uh, off the side of the dock. You can probably just say that there. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll use the fishing thing. And there we go. So that is scavenge. We've got uh, a total of three 
dry wood, seven cans and ten research points, which now will allow me to unlock, finally, the plastic recycler. So let's just put it down to normal speed and we're going to check that out. So we'll check this thing out. It will be in production and we have now the plastic recycler, which we can't put where I was going to place it, which is in this corner here, sadly. But we'll place it in, I don't know, let's turn the camera around and I think there would be fine. Let's place it there and then we can start producing things in order to get that thing there fishing boat no where would it be there it's uh, the fishing hut which requires four plastic nets um, at the moment we are not producing any fresh water because we are out of fuel by the look of it. let me just check the storage that is not storage that is storage we are yes we are completely out of fuel so there's no uh, reason for us to uh, I guess turn on that distillery we've got 20 waters waiting for us in the large leaky water tower which we can have a look at there and it yes it is a water tower and it is certainly leaking so we'll probably wait until our water is well less than 20 less than what it currently is and then we'll go ahead and scavenge that and then we can choose where to go next now i'm very tempted well i have to go i'm definitely gonna go down because i've been uh, to this one before so we'll go to there and then it's a question of do we go to the factory or do we go to that water point? That says a leaking water tower, and that's a factory room, which gives us oil, which then means we can travel elsewhere. Only one, oh, it's one oil to go that direction. Okay, fair enough. So we'll speed up to max speed. We'll wait for them to finish building the drying, uh, sorry, not the drying rack, the, uh, the plastic recycler there, and then I can go ahead and order them to make some plastic nets. Hmm... That storage yard is quite alarmingly high. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff stacked up there without anything around it. I wonder what they're going to do in terms of obviously the weather and things at. I don't know whether there'll be status effects on the uh, people, whether or not it can uh, unsettle things like the things on the storage yard, whether it will cause damage, whether there's going to be uh, maintenance to be performed, things like that. I mean, it can go pretty much anywhere at once. Uh, plastic nets, we're going to say one, two, three, four of them in total. That will take three of the plastic each, so that's fine. What I'm going to do is say uh, place another salvager, and I want to place salvage in there. I want to do the same thing over here and get that on the go. Let's say plastic, very strangely... Uh, <laughs> precious resource in the game but there you are we could order stevie to go and get that our seagull um but do you really want to send stevie over there send stevie there to gather that he's currently doing not much so he'll head off and gather that uh, little bit of plastic that's in the water there so they are now making that net which is good we'll just double check to see how many we have none we don't have any at the moment so we'll knock that up let's have a quick look at our at our uh storage yard we can see that there is oh, a nice sort of tool rack on there we've got like some hammers and some let's say some hammers we've got uh two hammers some screwdrivers saw wrench set of uh, grips there we've got loads of plastic in there and like a water uh, reservoir there and you can see that we are storing up a lot of the uh, nets which are in this sort of pink box and that will now allow us to hopefully build that no we can't because it hasn't been moved to storage even though it's there it needs to be moved to storage for it to be classed as a valid resource which we are now done uh done with so where can i place this well i guess placing it around here wouldn't be too bad um place it on the inside here perhaps i think i'll place it there nope can't because that boat's in the way we'll place it there and let's see what this thing is like and then I think we'll probably go for perhaps the food truck, I think is the way forward. You can see that my water is actually on 52, so the passive effect of these is just keeping the edge up there, so that's pretty good. So we, yet don't, we currently don't need to uh, scavenge the water from the water tower. I don't know whether more of these is the way forward or not. I'm actually going to turn off this thing here. That's currently saying to produce as much water as possible. We need to, say, produce a total of... Well, let's produce a full uh, queue of water. Uh, some fuel but i think i'm gonna probably set some more going there this requires raw seaweed so i'm just gonna say right uh do that as much as possible the seaweed by the way you just gather from the from the islands and stuff uh and you get three nipple fish oh there we go so it's uh drop this sort of net from the bottom there you can see there's a big pile of what looks to be cabbages but it's actually the seaweed there and we uh, bring that net up and they're just fishing <laughs> they're just fishing away that's pretty good so we're getting a decent amount of fish from that so, realistically, we can probably go ahead and get rid of one of these fishing boats. Although, actually, to be honest, we're probably best off just getting another mooring point. 
and then uh, building off from there. Can I place it in here? I can place it in there. It'll go there and uh, just inside um, our, our buildable area there. I think we're going to have another row there as well, but we'll see how we get on. So, uh, total of um, 50 food, and it's uh, only going up. We're going to say one, two, three, four more plastic nets, just in case we want to make some of these. Uh, we are gathering them in pl plastic. We've currently got 90, which is actually a decent amount. It uh, looks like that is now finished. I am going to build a salvage boat. We'll place it in there, and there we are. So we now have a total of uh, three salvage boats and two fishing boats, which I think is more than enough. So, uh, do we want to head off or do we want to get the water first? Well, I think leaving 20 water would be probably a bad move. So we're probably going to stick with uh, what we're doing now. I'm going to go over to the small storage. And yes, you can. I was wondering whether or not you can place the small storage in here. And it looks like you can. I don't think anything else can really go in here anyway. So it's, I don't think it's a waste of resources to place a big row of these in here. Although a drying rack, do we need more drying racks? Probably not. Probably not. So, in terms of uh, housing, home for your drifters where they can rest. So, is that a better thing to unlock? I think we will unlock that and we'll see what that is like. I'm going to uh, check that out. Uh, we can see the house is slightly larger than the other houses, which is problematic because we haven't sized it up for that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably go to each one of these uh, small houses and disassemble them just so we can then start placing rows across here. It does mean, however, that for a time there will be no housing for these people, but uh, we are going to place a, a nice row across here and maybe we'll be able to get another jetty at the back, but I have a feeling that it's not going to fit, but we'll see. So... We are currently disassembling that. Obviously, that's going to give us some resources back, which is why I placed these first, just in case. Also, it means that with this being so close, it's very easy to uh, place that stuff there. And will that fit in there? It will not fit in there whatsoever. We're going to have to remove these two first. Uh, we can place one in this side, but I think we're going to place it uh, along here, and we're just going to have a big row along here. That's probably the way forward. I'm just going to double-check that we can build back here. Yes, we can. So we can still build around the back, which is excellent. That's... Uh, Surprising, but a welcome surprise at that. So let's just place that there. I will go ahead and deconstruct these houses. We probably won't be able to get the full row in. I very much doubt that we will be able to, but uh, we'll do what we can. I'm also tempted to remove the set of sails and place it in this corner or something like that. But anyway, we'll see how we get on. Now, these houses, do they... It says home for your drifters. Does it mean multiples of? I don't know, but what I do know is that I'm going to start to salvage that leaky water tower because we're currently on 41 of our uh, water there, so enough. Let's have a click on that. And yes, it does actually have a home for two drifters, so this is good. So actually, we are going to... I don't think save room, but we're not going to take up any more room. And let's have a quick look at the housing. Ah, oh, the housing actually pretty good. So we're going to be as space efficient as we possibly can. That does require some more metal scrap, which is something I didn't think about. So we're actually out of metal scrap, which is a bit of a shame. Anyway, where's that? Where are they off to? Where's Stevie off to? Oh, Stevie's off over there because I put the wrong marker there. Whoops. <laughs> is this the same? I think it might have been at one point. Anyway. We're doing okay for fish. Uh, that is getting scavenged for the water. We are on 104 dry wood, 94 plastic, and uh, no metal scrap, which is why we do need to head off, because we don't have any metal scrap at the moment. So it's important that we get some. What I'm going to do is build this from the back here, and we'll build it right along to... Actually, I'm not, because I have a feeling if I do, we might not be able to fit it in there. Looks like we have managed to scavenge everything from the leaky water tower, so I think it's just a case of heading off then. Going to wait for this to come back because otherwise it might glitch out. I don't think so, but we'll see. So it's now back docked up, so we'll go to map and we want to, well, we have to go down to the Lonely Island, which gives us villages and it does have some travel requirements, but we will say move there. Like so. Alright, there we are. So, we have now travelled here. We have a couple of different areas. Let's pause it for a moment, or at least reduce the speed. There's a viaduct, so we're going to scavenge that. We do have the Lonely Island here, and I'm not going to do that just yet, but we do also have some uh, seaweed-covered rocks. The reason I'm not going to go to this island first with the two people there is because we don't have nowhere near enough housing for the people that we have. So it's better that I go there and scavenge all of these to get those resources. Let's have a quick look at our seaweed-covered place. 
yes, there we are. Hopefully, and you would probably expect there to be a lot more islands and stuff to be added across uh, the course of the game's um, early access period, but you never know. We shall see. Um, things like events and stuff would be quite welcomed. Obviously, the broadmap's pointing out uh, weather and uh, day-night cycle of reports, better pathing, other things. Just depends on how far... Uh, that progresses. That is currently saying that it is... Ah, oh, not getting any nibble fish. Well, that is correct because we haven't told it to produce nibble fish, but what I want to do is produce some more of the uh, firewood. Currently, in terms of firewood, we have... I'll actually click on the right thing eventually. Uh, we have eight firewoods. So we just want to produce more firewood, really. At the moment, we don't really need it because it's only used for our distiller, but I think eventually what we'll do is get the proper uh, desalinator and put that in and then we'll use the uh, in conjunction with the solar stills well that's how we'll get all of our stuff so there we are we're currently bringing back some of the metal scrap we do need to make some more housing which requires eight metal scrap so it's not a massive amount of scrap but it's enough uh well it's really enough to uh, use up what we had there so let's place a couple more houses in and that will be two four six eight ten housing in total we currently have eight people so when we go ahead and rescue people from this lonely island which i've now um set up uh, to uh, do that we will have uh, the right number of housing and then i'm going to build this across to there because why not and then it means we can build on the other side probably we'll have to remove the sails but what i might do is just go around the sails with the uh with the sort of jetty here like so um 16 to there and then 16 to there yeah and it sort of goes around it and it looks pretty good okay cool that has obviously taken sadly some uh, some of our plastic waste which we have uh, very little of now so where is the best place to gather that from well we've got some around there i'm just going to check down the bottom no it does look like does look like the closest is probably there or there but that's a low concentration so we will go over and say right gather resources and we want to say all of that as best we can currently on 40 fish and obviously this is still fishing so i have no problem in just uh, setting that to max this thing setting that over to max for the firewood and we now have obviously the people from the lonely island too as well as the scrap from there which we have only four metal scrap but we're constantly searching for the uh, seaweed covered rocks there and we have some new people. Who do we have? Let's have a quick look at them. So we have Inky and Looter. Excellent. Welcome aboard. I haven't set any priorities for them because we've got so many people now. It's sort of just fling enough uh, people at the issue and it'll sort of deal with it. <laughs> they'll deal with it in their own time. Um, you can see that there. They're actually waiting for stuff to be moved. And on the roadmap they said that uh, they wanted to uh, get... Uh, oh, we can actually place it there as well. The one to um, have improved pathing and things like that. So yeah, that's good. Uh, and better priorities. There you go. Seaweed cover rocks is now being looted, so we may as well move on. So let's move on this time over to here, which require it gives us oil. But I wonder what else is there. Um, if we go down there, we can then go and get oh another seagull. Okay, that's interesting. So what's that? That is fresh water. And that one is abandoned town and animals. That one is just oil, which then you can go over to there. Actually, so we will go down to the leaky water tower. It does require some oil, but we should be able to get there, and then we'll get another, um, another, another seagull. And there you go. Right. So what have we got here? We have our leaking water tower as well as some viaducts. Perfect, because we did need some more of that. In terms of research, though, we've only got two points, and we're not really finding anything, which is the main sort of downside of going the way we are but in terms of the longer game i would probably get at this stage i mean you can see we're pretty much already we're pretty much uh, completed out obviously we haven't got small water containers or any of that but um yeah we're just sort of hovering quite nicely around the water there we're sort of micromanaging it but i guess we probably go for the desalinator and that would probably along with the solar stills the four solar stills i'd probably get rid of the uh, distiller and that would probably give us all the water we would realistically need that along with scavenging obviously water towers which there's several along the, the map anyway and i'm actually going to set that going here because we're down to uh, 45 um and then i would probably go ahead and go for maybe the food truck i think the food truck feels like it's probably going to be uh, one of the better ones uh, yes you could use this thing here to get a fish kebab but it takes fish which we are getting and then it makes cooked fish but requires fuel but this thing the fishing hut takes 
raw seaweed and turns it into nibblefish. So you might as well have the fishing hut and the food truck together and just bypass that because this requires it uses fuel but it also makes sushi and uh, cooked fish so I think that is probably the way forward. It is a bit more advanced though, you do need some screws uh, which I think we do have some. Uh, we've got two screws so we need to produce some more of that. In fact what I'm going to do is produce some more firewood just because we might as well have some production on the go and in terms of screws we'll go for um, one, two, three, four and that'll produce eight because it gets two screws. Not having these will really screw you over, apparently. And with that terrible joke, we will leave it there. That has been a little bit of flotsam, and we've now finished searching the leaky water tower. I do feel that at this stage, there's not much more the game really has to offer me. I mean, like I say, we can explore this, but it's a it's a repeating map. I've searched, I've been to a lot of these locations, and even the new ones, it's just slight variations of what we've seen there. So hopefully, we'll see some um, other things added uh, that are on the roadmap very shortly. Either way, hope you have enjoyed the video. If you uh, like the game then by all means check the link out in the description so you can uh, have a look at it yourself comments in the comments thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings